and in the bottom right corner of my screen, it said, Microsoft Windows has just started playing Skyrim. <laughs> like, oh my god, you know, you know your paper sucks when even the paper starts procrastinating. I guess Bradley's AFK. Yeah, it sounds like it. Hey, Bubbles, come back to us. Actually, you guys might have good images of random buildings I should... You call him Bubbles? No, I met someone who used to work with the other day um, up at my office, oh, okay. and they. I was like, yeah, I knew him, and then was like, yeah, we used to call him Bubbles. I'm like, holy shit. That's amazing. Wait, 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 did he work, did they work with, was he like one of the airplane people then? No, no, he, uh, he works at Caterpillar. He worked oh, with Bradley. one of the Caterpillar people. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense they call him Bubbles because, like, he never swore. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's like Bradley at work never swears. He's like super like he keeps saying like frick and everything. Yeah. So people think he's like the kindest person who could never swear and shit. No, that's not necessarily true. I mean, I used true. to think the same thing of Bradley because on like FCNN and shit, he used to be like that. And it's like once I jo joined Skype, I I knew that wasn't Bradley. Nope. Not at all. I've known him since elementary school so I've never known him not to yeah I mean it's kind of like my buddy Tom my buddy Tom uh, I remember as a kid seeing him always getting in trouble because he flipped off the teacher and shit <laughs> and they would tell them to go fuck themselves and all that shit it was always great oh yeah See, that's usually the ones that respond back quite wittily <laughs> yeah <laughs> those are fun so I had like one or two high school teachers like that and a couple one of my more fun professors, who was really good, uh, if someone was dozing in class, so the desks are arranged such that, not desks, so it's an auditorium, like a lecture hall, um, so it kind of slopes upward, and yeah. they don't have like a desk that comes out in front of you, you just have like a little area up to your side. Right. So you'd walk up that area, like on those areas, like straight through, and like yell, just like try to scare the person who was asleep, just casually. He's probably one of the best professors I've ever had, though. So. Hey, Lola! Soon. Be like, hey, there's a Bradley. Am I? I started the stream. For the sound, I started the stream on my PC, and on the laptop, I've got the actual stream, but it actually synced itself immediately. Oh, now that's nice. Usually, I need to go through the effort of trying to sync the image and the sound. So this game is really good. What are you? What are you watching? What's the stream? They do the twenty-four hours. I mean, I really enjoy it. It's um. It takes a lot of patience. What are y'all playing? Say, it's not like Derail Valley. Derail Valley is a train VR game. It, ah. it's, it doesn't require VR, but it, it takes a lot of patience because the whole idea is you're picking up order cards and running cars from destination A to destination B. It's, 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 it's patience based. It's not, it's not something you just pick up and play for a couple minutes and be like, that was fun. <laughs> Fair enough. It's, but for trained people, like like who are really like it, it's like this is a lot of fun, and it's twenty dollars, which for a full game. Well, it's in alpha, but still, it's a full game. It's a VR kind of price. It's a VR kind of price, but it's but it's not bad considering it's like this thing has more quality to it than some games that are released as train simulators. It's a I'm cheap look. Probably not gonna get much work done with the race dog and see. <laughs> yeah. Shit, we're already at the formation <laughs> left. I'm just playing Minecraft, I guess. Looks uh. down at coupling menu, sees car missing. Shit. I'm playing mod at Minecraft right now, Pixelmon server. Well, not that, but... 
Okay, yeah, they have a drinking game, and one of them is uh, take the shot or drink if rain is mentioned, and they already mentioned it. <laughs> I'm not gonna take part in this drinking game. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize the uh, the exhaust stack. It has one of those little metal caps on it, and the, the you can actually see the cap bobbing up and down with the exhaust. I always love it when they they have that sort of detail. Yeah, Dennis, show me good buildings. What? Like model train buildings that are cool. Uh, um, like what? This, like I'm. Where would these be used in a city? Oh, a farm, like... Uh, this would be. I want city and farm. Ish, I that I just kind of look up. Like, why? What do you? Minecraft. Yeah, I just kind of look up stuff. Like, honestly, like what I would do a lot of times, I went on to like Google Maps or something. Like, I'd go to like New York and just. Hop into the city of New York and look at their buildings, or you know, that sort of thing. Model, model train buildings are uh, easier to replicate. Oh. Okay. That's not okay. a shit ton easier. What did I miss? Everything. <laughs> you missed me, catch a Stellaby. I am two switches away from town. I can't hardly hear you, Bradley. Ah. Uh. Fallout 4? No, this game, Derail Valley. How'd you get um frustrated with that? I love it, but there's one major flaw with it that pisses me off. Which is what? It, you can't you can't teleport around the map in because basically. VR, basically they didn't program the VR teleport into the regular game, and so it can make some things a bit annoying. So, if you derail, you have to walk all the way to another town. Yeah. And this is, this is quite a big map, so yeah, it sucks. Can you just have someone come pick you up? No, because it's single player. Oh, that's not fun. Well, right now there are really no train multiplayer games except for Run 8. Minecraft, yeah. Well, that's not a game though. That's 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 a that's a regular game, and they put trains into it. I guess that's right. You'd be like, well, gee. Damn! I thought I found something, Bradley. I thought I did. You and you think you're sad. Oh, that was a fan feast. Scared the shit out of me. So we make a left at the next switch, and we're there. Yay! Yay for simplicity. Maybe. Okay. Damn trees. I never quite understood how that, the, the new Minecraft server even works. Like, you're gonna be even creative? Or just... Invincible? Or just creative. Like, the creative fine, like, going back into survival will never work. No, as in going into survival on a different, like, map. Uh... Because remember, a lot of people you know, like Brad and Rail, only play the, the survival. I mean... I've actually come to like creative just for the railroad bit. Yeah. yeah. I actually oh, would prefer to do survival. I mean, yeah, creative's alright, but... You but... don't realize how, how much resources you need for trains. Yeah. I do, actually. I had need... actually had um a lot of the train mods in my last pack. Yeah, the, okay. you need for a steam locomotive, you need about 90 blocks of iron. That's just the locomotive. For just the engine, 
not the cars or the tracks. Yeah. The so, tracks or question. You go for about three blocks of iron per three blocks. Qu question, question. Have y'all tried using a mod called Mind Tweaker? You could change yeah, recipes. Recipe. Yeah, but that's not. Uh... But, it would well, help. You also no. The problem is these aren't. These don't use the standard recipe block. They actually use their own machines you and can stuff. Still and they're change not... it, but it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You you don't exactly have to code it in. You have to tell it the recipe is in this block right here, which is whatever crafting block you use. Or all but that. it's not. These aren't even crafted. They're, they're multi-block. Also, uh, there's also things like World Edit makes things a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, if it's a multi-block, that's a little different. Multi-blocks are a pain at that point. Yeah, and with Immersive, everything's multi-block because, you know, you, you actually have to make lathes and stuff. Yeah, which is cool. I thought that was Which, pretty. it makes sense. Do y'all at least have equivalent exchange installed? No. no. That's a terrible mod. A lot of people consider that cheating as well. It, it is, but if it requires like three stacks of iron blocks to move I mean, it's a block. not actually impossible. You can do it, especially yeah, if you have like uh, all the Technic server. mods where what you're mining it. it though? There's a server yeah. that has that kind of stuff. Like, they, they just do it. And mm. it's a pretty decent size. Um, what was it? Uh, Brad? What? I'm essentially at this part in the game. I'm heading down to the harbor. I mean, like, it's basically, like, like, uh, the, the cliffs-wise, it's kind of like, um, Durango and Silverton. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I know, I think I'm at that area you were talking about with the bridge and the, tr the, the trestle that goes immediately into the valley. Yeah. It's really freaking bumpy here. This is probably where crap tracks are going in. Let's look at our map. Have you ever seen Immersive? I don't think he's, he's ever seen Immersive. Immersive what? Really immersive rarity. rarity. Like, I yeah, yeah, know. I've seen it. You have? Yeah. Are you sure you're not confusing it with real words? Because you tend to do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've also finally found a way to make it smooth, sort of. Because I'm pretty sure Immersive is one of our mods on Season 3's mod list. I can see that. Make sure you... It's complicated. I'm trying to figure out. I've been trying to understand what Immersive needs. I need to actually start playing with that code. I thought about adding electrics. That'd be fun. They have been working on that as an idea. I I've talked I to Dan. Cam's a nice guy, he just Cam. has a full plate. Likewise. The thing is, like, I don't want to code when, like, I get paid to code, and I come home and I'm like, I don't really want to code right now. I'm the same way, except I don't get paid to code. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I'm like, I do this as a job. Do I want to do it right now? Eh... I have, I did, I did deep, I've, I've talked to Cameron quite a bit about this. And like, we've definitely <coughs> had oh, some ideas. Shit, I made the wrong turn. I made the wrong turn in Albuquerque. <coughs> How do you manage that? I went right when I should have gone left. Well, well, that sucks. I would like a junction box. Uh, yeah, or just the ability to switch switches on the map, like the main switches. Not yard switch, but the main switches. Because <laughs> so you're left guessing if you're going to make it or not. Well, you're just constantly switching between the map and the thing. Yeah. Uh, that works. Not too bad. It's a level 48 gym. Oh shit. A level 100 mob boss? <laughs> That's how Mafia works. Does Luxamon work that well? What? Luxamon? Yeah, it works pretty well. I actually have shaders installed with it right now. I mean, that's not the problem. The real reason I can't run shaders is because for some reason there's an incompatibility or something where it will unload all the resource packs. So I'm not having that issue. But um, I was able to. Hold on, are you using? 
Are you using the individual shaders mod or Optifine shader built in? I have no idea. I'm gonna yell at Funyun for that. I'm too lazy to actually do this myself. Like, I have the hardware to run pretty much anything. Like, I was running shaders fine. It's just something updated and I'm like, I don't feel like I'm doing this. Well, I know Optifine now has shaders built in, so... Yeah, probably. I just don't want to deal with it because I have to fully reinstall. No, you wouldn't just delete the whatever mod's causing the no, issue. No, Are you using the no, tech at launcher? Breaks, it breaks something in it, and I've tried, and it breaks something. I'm not sure. All right. Well, the only issue I'm having is it's unloading one texture. I don't know if it's unloading or if this texture is just missing. No, I'm. Oh no, it's just resource packs. Oh, sure. Probably just the texture, uh, the shader file missing. Minecraft double fern upper is what is um, missing. Holy shit! This is gorgeous. What? I'm 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 traveling. Yeah, I'm in this game, and I'm just I'm traveling along the seaside. What locomotives do you have access to? Uh, there's there's two main engines. There's there's a, a center cab diesel thing. It's just a cute little. Both engines are supposed to be generic, like a mixture of like European, American. Just they're kind of generic, but they're nice looking little engines. This thing, it's like it looks like it has caterpillar engine in it. It's a tiny little engine to, in, uh, I buffers. huh i noticed the buffers so yes it right. has buffers that's the main engine and then the other engine is a uh a mikado steam locomotive it's a mixture of an american and like russian and german design yeah i'm like so confused because that's a mikado with buffers like and what's going on here there are there are there the united states is not the only country on earth to have that have has two eight o's or two eight twos most wheel arrangements are used everywhere. In fact, the reason we call them Mikados is because we were shipping them out to Japan. Japan used buffers, too? Well, no. But I'm saying, just, we're not the only country that had buffers. Hey, Bradley. Well, had, I mean, that had two eight twos. Bradley, I captured the, um, the move tutor, by the way. I'm holding him captive. I found the jungle. Ooh. You can capture uh, villagers, right? Uh, I don't know. I didn't throw a Pokeball. I kind of pushed him inside of a house and blocked him in. Oh, rip. <laughs> I did it the hard way, the old-fashioned way. I don't quite remember what spawns Brad in jungles. In death, though. Is he? He is. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't even realize it. I'm flying over the jungle and I really kind of don't want to because there's stuff that spawns in the jungle that I kind of might want. Let's see. Tab. We're going to SO9. I believe. Oh, right. You haven't been on this server in a while. You didn't deafen. Right. I knew that, but I chose to ignore it and talk to myself. Game is gorgeous. Imagine, you can't imagine what it'd be like in VR. I know. <laughs> gorgeous, <laughs> but gorgeous, but in your face. I know yeah. Johan has it in VR, and it has stressed him out to no end. But he loves. It. Imagine. He grabbed his frame and he read his directions wrong, and he went in the exact opposite direction where he was supposed to. So he got pissed off, grabbed his um his job list and chucked it in the firebox. Ah, did it work? I think so. That's awesome. Well, to light the fire, you're actually supposed to chuck your lighter in the firebox. That's 10 out of 10. <laughs> How many gold? And it, it, it does make sense. With the steam engine and with VR, you actually, you know, you have to fucking shovel. Could uh -huh. it just be... An auger. Yeah. The reason they wanted it though was to play a VR game, and there's a steam engine. They want to shovel coal. That's like you know an icon railroad. 
I don't is coal shovel. think that's the, the, the dream. I'm not a rail. Well, person. it's not the dream, but you know, when you when a lot of people think of trains, they think of the guy in, in there shoveling coal into a fire. That's I how a lot of people see trains. I think of the the the, dry, the pistons. Well, but isn't when they're thinking of the crew, they're oh, all, in they all the cartoons and stuff. It's like yeah, you know, there's always that. Guy. The you know, fire. Like, he's the only one that has a job because what else does anyone else do? I don't know what those knobs do. You just push exactly. a button and it goes. And you yeah. Move forward. Yeah, um, from what I know, the steam engines weren't going to be great, but luckily Battleship stepped in and kind of gave him them his knowledge on steam locomotives. What fun Battleship to make this game. Yeah, he indirectly has a lot of uh, stuff in this, including, and this isn't official, but Crap Track. I don't like Crap Track. Okay. How did I fall out of the world? Oh, shit. Track Whoops. 9, there it is. I just want to make tracks. More fun. He needs to drive an engine. He can just make his tracks. Vaughn, well, are you a big fan of the Nurse? One, no? six, two, one. I mean, I've, I've, I worked on it. Oh, right. I, I don't use it much, but that's because I don't play Minecraft much. But it's like, I, I, I like six, it, five, five. but I, I will admit it is super unoptimized, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of a server thing. Yeah, I, I, I figured. Okay, but admittedly, though. we're putting models that are probably way too high. It's actually not the models that are the problem. Models are fine. It's the code. It, it's no, it's the speed. Oh, uh, okay. Like, and you're like, you're like, lo yeah, it's kind of the code. You're loading a shit ton of things. Yep. Just On what? Fine if you have like SSD and like. Yeah. Talk about mod at Minecraft. Insane yeah. performance. Specifically the 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 immersive mod though. Like, okay. I am able to run smooth. I think I think I'm able. The server I I'm on is able to run smooth most of the time. Uh, when you run 100 plus. Right. It's some curves that doesn't like, which I'm interested to see that. You can start jumping around certain curves. Usually it's reset. You see this super powerful. Single or well, you don't need that powerful to make multiple cores. You just need one really powerful core. Probably not ever gonna get back into GMod because of Minecraft, because it's just easier than infinite worlds. Sick and tired of stupid. It's more Savannah. I need a Mesa. Some of a bitch. I remember my quest for Mesa Biome, because Mesa's are really pretty. We built our entire base into the side of one. Yep. We had oh. a rocket silo that opened up. We had machinery. We had a... Our, our whole uh, thaumatic infusion center was like a glass... was like under the floor. It had like a glass floor over it. Yeah. I've seen people do it too. I'm looking for a Mesa... For Bradley. Yeah, Mesa took forever to find, though. Damn right they do. Okay. Uh, unhitched for my train. I'll put her in shutdown mode. Cut the main power switches. Okay. Hello, Mikado. There's the station office. Oh. Savannah. 
biome, however, is super pretty with shaders. One. Okay, uh... Conversions are pretty good, too. Conversion app. Convert. Me and Bradley once built a house in the savannah biome for one of my YouTube series. It ended up, it ended up pretty funny. He, he got chased by an army of zombies around the house like five times. Do you play on like hardcore? Or not hardcore, uh, extreme? Or whatever the fuck the high difficulty was. Huh? Do you play on high difficulty, I assume? Hard. High pixel? No. No, hard. Do you play on hard, I assume? Oh, uh, no, it was just a normal survival uh, server that a friend of mine was hosting. Well, he's wondering what mode the, the server's in. Like, yeah. normal. Easy, normal, hard. Normal. It, was a, it was a normal. The what I'm running right now is actually currently an easy. Yeah, we made a really hard version by, Well, because like... it doesn't... Isn't the, isn't the big thing of part is the zombies can kick indoors? Yes. Wait, zombies can't kick indoors? Yeah, they can. On hard mode. They can yeah, after yeah. a certain update. I think 1.8 introduced it. Yeah, it was 1.8. Oh. Uh, so the only problem I had was that the withers, which you needed to make certain machineries, tended they could teleport, shoot lightning, and like they tended to nuke, nuke when they uh, died. Sounded like you had um. Like the wither, whatever the fuck it was. Hardcore in your expansion. We had that. We had like bought everything to make it harder. Yeah, <laughs> my last mod pack had that. We had um. We had zombie awareness, which was a, it's advanced zombie AI. If one zombie spawned, it would spawn like fifteen of them, and they also, would hoard. Also have the the boss mobs, the like or the, the the different difficulty of mobs. So there's like the regular, but then you like occasionally get like better ones. No, 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 no. I couldn't find that one. I looked for it, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, we also had Greg Tech. It was so good. And I hate Greg Tech. Well. Written all of Greg Tech is all right, but I had Mind Tweaker, which does the same thing, but it's all it's empty from the start, and I just I created the recipes myself. So we, we had to do that with Greg Tech and other things. We had to like integrate it. So like you need Thomium to make certain machines, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a mod called Rival Rebels, and it, it's a mod that's it's about nukes and weapons practically, and practically everything costs dirt. No joke. You can make a nuke with dirt and cobblestone almost all the way through, and a little bit of iron. So I upped it a lot. Like you needed lithium and all sorts of crap because you had to make batteries and this and that. And for like things like AE, like AE, we changed dramatically because that shit was cheap. Um, we made it really expensive. Applied Air Logistics two or one? AE two. AE two. On uh, one point seven. It's not as cheap as what it used to be. No, we made it okay. Like yeah, one point seven. To have H machines, and if you know Greg Tech, you'll know what that means. Yeah, I I actually don't like Greg Tech because of my first experience with it. And it's really just my first experience. A lot of people love it, and it's really not a bad mod. It's a great mod. Exactly. Like, I mean, not everyone's cup of tea is sitting in front of a TNT machine for like 70 or 80 hours, so... Why do you guys sit in front of a TNT machine? Because you need a bunch of shit ton of TNT, like, it makes the TNT, oh, oh, oh. TNT, which you need to run the implosion crash, which you need to make plates, which you need to get to the moon, which you need to get to MV machines. Okay. I understand now. Yeah. I unlocked the Mikado, but I'm going to keep running the diesel so I get used to the game before I run something where I can legitimately fuck it up very easily. Can you blow up the engine? Like, is that boiler explosion? I don't know if that's possible, but I know it's very easy to derail things, so if you're shoveling coal and not paying attention, you can come off the rails. Wait, you have to shovel and run it? Yes, that's how steam engines work. No, but usually you have two people. But this is a one player game. That feel when life is hard, man. Again, it's in real life there that is possible. Wait, you can run a steam locomotive alone? That's like allowed. It depends on the locomotive, but yeah yes. Most switching engines were set up for one man operation. A lot of switching engines were set up for one man operation. 
good guy for that man. Burn up, boy. Right? 